Hello everyone, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. In this video, I'm going to talk about two unique ways to attach a file to an email. Here, I have a file which is available in a folder and I want to attach this file to an email. One option that we all know that I can simply drag this file and drop it over to the mail which is being composed and this file can directly get attached to that email. But let's assume that I also want to highlight the path where this file is located into the mail body. Let's see if I do a simple right click on that file, I get the simple options like open, new, print, send to and in send to also we get a very limited number of options. However, on the same file, if I do a right click while holding the shift key, that gives me a few new options like open, edit, new, open as read only, directly print a document without opening it and open in protected view. Now these are the general options. The options that I am very much interested in is copy as path. This helps me to copy the entire path where this file is located. Hold on. Before I use this option, let me also show you that send to option has got certain new folders where you can simply move this file to. So now as per our requirement, I'm going to copy this path and I'll open the mail which is being composed and I'll go to attach file and just simply paste this file path into that insert box and click on insert. Now you will see that that file has got inserted. Along with that, if I want to give the location of this file, where is it located in my computer, I can simply type path colon and I'll paste the location. So this is the location where this file is currently located. We can attach the file in the same manner in any of the webmail services like Gmail, Yahoo or any other mailing software. This step is also useful when we only need the path of the file. Now let's talk about a different scenario of attaching a file to an email. In this scenario, I already have that file which is to be attached open. Now I am not sure where this file is located and after working on this file, I want to attach the latest updated file to the mail that I'm composing. In order to attach the open file directly to the mail, I can simply go ahead and click on file, share and click on email. And when I click on attachment here, this option helps me to compose a new email. But what I'm looking at is the mail which is already being composed. I want to attach this file to this email. Now, how do I go about attaching that file to this email? The steps are very simple. Here, I can enable a document locator command in the quick access toolbar. So let's see how do we enable a document locator. I click on this drop down arrow. I go to more commands. In more commands, I'll switch this popular commands to commands not in the ribbon and select any random command and I'll keep pressing D till I find a command that says document location. Now here I have that command. I'll add it to quick access toolbar and I'll click OK to come out of the screen. Now see people, I have got the document location here. I'll simply copy it by pressing Ctrl C. Now I'll go to the mail which is being composed and I'll simply go to attach file and paste the path of that file and press enter. Now we have seen two different methods of attaching file. In the first instance, the file was closed, but we knew where the file is located. And we just did a right click and copied the path of that file. In the second method, we use the document location in Excel file. Similar document locator can be enabled in Word and PowerPoint separately. Let me also tell you one more major difference between both the method. First method that we used, that is copying path, can be used for any file. It could be a video file, could be a picture file, it could be a PDF document, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any document that is saved on your computer can be attached by using the first method. The second method is restricted to only Word, Excel and PowerPoint file because this feature is available in Word, Excel and PowerPoint only. Hope you have liked the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. This is Pradeep once again from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. Take care. Bye-bye.